Hi guys, Gamekeeper John here. Uh, a few of you have asked what products we do and stuff, and if there's any chance you can show us on video, go into a little bit of detail and just basically show us the designs in the flesh instead of just pictures. So we got a batch of blah, 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 start again. We got a batch of catapults, which we've done over the last couple of days. They're ready to be banded. So all the real, I'll just show you some of the designs we've got. Um, this is the uh, blood stopper. Originally designed by Gamekeeper Catapults. Obviously, there's a few other people doing there, but we was the original many years ago. This is a universal tip one. You can shoot it in TTF with the aiming dim or over the top. Uh, take note of the new finish that we use on all Gamekeeper Catapults now. I can guarantee you it's the best finish you will find on Multiplex. Smooth, pretty much scratch proof, waterproof, and a nice shine without giving the plastic effect. And, uh, you know, it's, it's durable. I ain't telling nobody what it is. Everybody keeps saying, what is it, what is it? I'm not telling you. It's my new secret finish. <laughs> but uh, it is absolutely bang on, obviously. Everything we make comes signed in the cup. All hand signed, all hand made. So that's the Bloodstopper, one of our popular sellers. Uh, make quite a few of them, ones to be fair. While we're on the pattern things, this is the Pocket Poacher Mark II. Universal tip, TTF, and over the top. And again, same as everyone, I'm sure I don't need to show you that on everyone, but it's signed by me, me, myself, hand signed. <laughs> but, um, you know, I thought I'd show you these before we get banned in, before we band them all. So the pattern T, lovely little thing, this is an over the top shooter, lovely deep cup. Uh, I like that, to be fair. Um, <laughs> the famous PPSG, I'm sure you've all seen these. Lovely bits of kit. A lot of shaping and working them as you can see to all the others, but well, that's why they're a little bit more expensive. And moving on to the Mini Phoenix. I actually shot one of these for a while to be honest. Uh, Mini Phoenix. Even though it's only, well, how big would you say that is? Three and a half, four inch. You can actually, because it's so small, you can actually get a lock with all three fingers in and hold it like that. Don't get me wrong, it is small. <laughs> We'll bring now out the fully sized Phoenix. You can put them next to each other from comparison. That's the fully sized one. And, uh, these are absolutely spot on. I love the Phoenix. Lovely skinny waist. Get straight in. Slight finger grooves in there. As you can see. And they hold absolutely beautiful. Be a nice father and son pair or something then. Uh, while we're on the Phoenix, I'll like show you the Phoenix Mark II with the extra hand grip. Basically, same catapult, same size, but it's got the extra gripper there. And what that allows you to do is to get your lock with them two fingers, and then these two drop into there. It's a nice ergo side shooter, it holds like a dream. And uh, these can be made with palm swells or other stuff on request, but on the website, which is www.gamekeeper-catapults.co.uk. This is the ones we've got on there. We've got loads more stuff than this. This is just a batch I've got ready, ready to ban what I'll say we've done the last couple of days. And uh, I thought I'd show them with you because a few of you are asking. Um, good old Chunky Milbro Mark III. Mark I, sorry, in patent. <laughs> Proper that. Good old classic lump. And we've got the palm soil pocket poachers, the standard ones. These are the cheaper ones out of the actual palm soil pocket poachers. Um, all palm soils are the same. And what that's for is when you hold it, that palm soil locks into your hands. If that palm soil wasn't there, let me show you on a flat one. See how that holds level? Now, without the palm soil, you tend to pull it. See? When you grip it, you pull it and it leans. Now, what this palm soil does, when you grip and you pull that, you pull the palm swell into your hand, so it keeps the frame level as opposed to being like that. Don't get me wrong, you can still hold these ones level if you know what you're doing, but this one just sort of automatically holds itself level and a more consistent hand placement every time. What I use on these, the little pinky hook, a lot of my control is done with a pinky hook. Unless you've shot one with bands on, you wouldn't quite understand yourself, but it's, uh, you know, it's nice. This is what I started off on before I went on to um, the actual 
pocket perch is super grip itself. Great little frame. I'm shooting something totally different now, totally out of my comfort zone, but I've been shooting it great. I'll quickly show you this in the middle of the review. I've been shooting this thing. I hope natural I made myself. And I've been shooting it exactly the same as the pocket poacher, side shooting it. And I honestly think I'm getting on better with this than I are with all my others. But I'll shoot that for a bit because I like it, I like the old school. Right then, back onto the review. We got pinky poachers. These are the pinky poachers. Another popular one, this. I must say the new finish is absolutely awesome. Uh, we've got new pouch dies coming soon as well. So all pouches. We have different types of pouches which are uh, like that as well. Uh, I have got a DPD delivery van outside so I'm going to have to already just review up I think. If he's coming to my house. Uh, we've got the TTF Pocket Rocket 5. Pocket Rocket 5 needs no introduction. Ergonomic. Locks. Locks. There's your TTF. This is one of my all-time favourites. Again, another one that we introduced at the Catapult World. Well, I think we've introduced every one of these designs. They're all original stuff we've done. Where we lead, many of us often follow, but that's the way it is. It's the same with everything. It's not a problem. It's, uh, it's nice to know people want to make your stuff. Uh, but I do like these. These are that big. What would you say that is? Fringe? You, know, you can hold it in your hand like that. Don't let that put you off. What I use is my ring finger, straight in there, and this gives you a perfect lock. you got exactly how you want to hold it, and the grip is awesome, because you've got your ring finger locked in, and that one around the waist. And I'm telling you now, that is not going anywhere, that is a solid little shooter. Really, really love the little devil. Possibly our most popular frame, the basic £19.99. Pocket Poacher TTF. I don't think there's a week's gone by where we haven't made at least 30 or 40 of these a week with orders. They, it's just, it's the one, it's what everybody wants. Again, everything comes hand signed. Uh, a couple of nice simple shapes here. Traditional Poacher's Friend Mark II's. Nice, simple, and did a job. These are popular with the Hunters, these ones. It's just a nice, simple shape. Traditional, you know pretty much fit any side hands if you hold down low up here or up there it, you know there's a lot of give in this frame it's one that I would always recommend for a beginner who wants to shoot over the top because it's simple it's a nice fork gap and quiet eye forks just a nice simple shooter another one of my favourite ones is this Chunky Milbro Mark 3 um, it's come a long way since the Mark 1 based on an original traditional shape and um, it's, it's good I like it it's a really, really, really top design. Again, popular with the hunters, as it's uh, not too far away from the poacher's friend Mark II. But obviously, it's a bit narrower. So if you want, if you're unsure and you want the extra give, the poacher's friend Mark II will give you a wider fork gap. And we got these budget pulse. They don't come with band grooves. They're just a simple cut and uh, router. Obviously, they're finished to the same standards. All signed. I come with any bands as you want. These are $13.99, free dot nine nine, cheapest thing on the market. You wouldn't, you can't even get blanks and cores for that much. You get these finished and banded for thirteen pound ninety nine. Uh, the budget put we get through a lot of them. So that's it really. Um, here they are. But as I say, these this has become very popular over the last year or two. The blood stopper. Um, I think why it's become popular because a few people was buying the um, cast plastic ones off eBay or moulded blood shots or whatever they are will come about after we've done this I'm sure a couple of them have been breaking so I think they're coming to the wooden ones and getting off the plastic moulded stuff just for safety really um, I'm not sure if it's sure or not but I've seen a lot of stuff about them breaking the plastic ones so I think they're coming to get the wood ones which is handmade, hand signed and um, finished to a high standard so yeah, just wanted to show you all that and that's it, that's my little review of some products, so uh, that's probably, well we've got about 80 or 90 designs, I bet there's only 10 or 12 designs there, if not a couple more, so it's just a fraction. Next time we've got a batch of catapults ready to go out, um, I shall be getting a review on and showing you. So uh, take it all easy, don't forget to give us a like, a comment and a sub, and uh, see you soon.